Hello friends, welcome back to Star Style at Homestead. So, we got a new one today. We are going to be making hash brown quiche cups. Um, my cousin Cindy, hi Cindy, um, tagged me and said, Teresa, you need to try this. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try it because it sounded really good. So, here we go. I have my tin sprayed with olive oil spray. My oven set at 400. Um, and in a bowl, I'm doubling the recipe, by the way. So, here we go. I'm going to crack two eggs, one for the recipe. I'm hoping I can freeze them. And you know what? I gotta edit this video anyway, so while it's early, I'm gonna pause you and go get that microphone, see if it works today. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Let's hope this works. It's green. <laughs> So let's go back to this, okay? So I have two eggs. I have my hash browns. Um, these salt and pepper. I did. I could not find Asiago cheese, so I'm just using um, shredded cheddar. They said you could use cheddar, <laughs> so I'm hoping that that comes out just as good but the store didn't have it. Let's see, we need a quarter teaspoon of salt, so I'm gonna use a half. I have my two eggs in there. Um, pepper, just about a quarter pepper. Now I'm gonna, we're making the cup right now. I guess it'd be better saw me just scramble the egg salt and pepper okay now that I got this and not a spoon I'm gonna add in my cheese I'll have the recipe below for you guys just mix that in and then two cups of this is four because I'm doubling it um, hash browns frozen hash browns defrosted which they are and just mix all this together I don't know I think the cheddar will be nice in here <laughs> But I love cheddar cheese. I, I've never tasted Asiago cheese before, so I don't know what it tastes like. So, But today we're using cheddar. Okay. And uh, hold on a second. Sorry. I had to move you a little bit. That should be good. Now, we want to press, oops, press this into the pan. So let's pull this over here. I don't know how much it'll take, so I'm just going to do a nice size scoop. And yes, my hands are clean. And I'm just going to press it up the sides. And we're going to cook this first. Oh, that actually worked out well. Oh, hold on. Made a nice little cup. Let's see. I'll take another good size. Need a little bit more in that one. Yeah. So, let me do all these and fill them up, and I'll bring you right back. Because these, once I do this, this has to go in the oven 
to get that cooking um, for 14 to 17 minutes. But And then while that's cooking, I'm going to get the um, spinach and all that together, the other cheese and bacon. I'll get all that together. So let me fill these and I shall be right back. Alrighty, friends, those are done. I have them all full. I was going to try to do another pan, but I decided to just thicken those up a little bit. Flatten down the bottoms. Get those going. Now they're going to go into the oven. And 14 to 17 minutes at 400. So I'm going to set my timer for 15 just to see. How that goes and in the meantime I'm gonna cut up my spinach it's got to be cut up small um, thinly sliced so I'm gonna cut that up and I'll be right back alrighty friends on to the filling okay this is gonna be six eggs um, I don't have any chives <laughs> oops uh, two-thirds cup of Colby Monterey Jack cheese, one third or two thirds cup of spinach and bacon for the top. So I'm going to put all my eggs in here, get all this mixed together. So you hear all that noise out there? Um, I had to hire somebody to add on um, a safety gate to my pool for Mr. Kaimani because he decided he wanted to jump in the pool again with no floats on last week. And luckily, we were right there, you know? But anything could happen. So I wasn't taking that chance. I said it's worth every penny. I'm going to use the same whisk. Um, okay, so... Let's come back down here. There's my six eggs. Mix this up. I cut up a little too much spinach, but I'm going to be making some chicken tonight. And I'll just make something with the extra spinach. Got to take my, oh no, there's my cheese. That's all in. It's a third cup. I'm using two thirds cup. And my Colby Jack cheese is also going to be two thirds cup. Let's get this here. Oh, that's some thick shredded cheese right there. I think I need my spoon for this one. <laughs> you know, I bet I could add a couple more eggs to this and just fill that up. That doesn't look like an, enough, <laughs> enough for 12 of those. Let's get all this in here. And for my bacon, of course, you know me, <laughs> I'm going to be using this. I'll sprinkle this on top. So, you know what? I think I'm going to. I'm going to use the rest of this spinach <laughs> and just add a couple more eggs in there. And maybe then I won't have to cook a full dinner tonight. What do you think about that? <laughs> I don't think this is going to be enough for those men. Me, on the other hand, I would be happy with this. Okay, mix that right in. I'm going to add some more cheese, too. As a matter of fact, I bet this would go good. Yeah. 
I'll throw a couple pieces of chicken in a bacon dish and cook it almost all the way and then throw this on top. Mmm. Yeah, that sounds yummy. And then just cook it until this is done. So if I have any of this left, that's what I'll do. Oh, let's put some more cheese. I almost forgot. It's sitting right in front of me. I'm just going to put another two-thirds cup of cheese in there. Because who doesn't like cheese? Except for Dallas's boys. <laughs> Dallas, you need to make that lasagna. Just make it and enjoy it. You and Dan, go to town. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to actually add some more salt and pepper to this too. Not a lot. Not a lot. I probably added another teaspoon or so just to give it some oomph. You know what? And I'm going to add some onion powder too because I don't have the onions in there. So we'll add that onion flavor. Although I bet I could add my dehydrated onions in there. <laughs> that would be good. Matter of fact, I think I will. I think I've got them right here somewhere, probably behind you. Let's see. What the heck are. Gotta move ya. Breadcrumbs. Ah. I have a whole thing of them somewhere. <laughs> right here? Yep. A whole thing, my friends. Whole. You ready? A whole thing. <laughs> so I am just going to, I don't know. I'll add a couple tablespoons. We don't want to go overboard. Got to have some kind of onions in there. Those will hydrate as I'm waiting that last six minutes. Whoa, foggy glasses. So, there we have it. Let me show you as we're waiting here. Put the top back on that. I'll show you what. I'm going to show you through the, through the uh, window. Actually, I'm not because the guy is standing there. So, I will, I'll take a picture of it when he's not there because I don't want to put somebody on YouTube that doesn't know what's going on. So, I'm going to clean this mess and I'll be right back. Okay, friends, now that he's down below, I'm just going to show you real quick. That one over there, and then this one here. He's putting a, a gate on it. I'll show you more. Um, you more when he's all done. Here we go, friends. This is the new deck. Uh, this opens that way, and we block that one right in. <laughs> so, Mr. Kaimani oh, is What's not going to get through there now. <laughs> I've got my chicken cut up. I decided to do my chicken, um, some of my chicken. The rest is going in the freezer. And I think I'm going to mix up a mixture of this depending on how this comes out, and throw it over the top once the chicken's almost done. Almost like a stuffed chicken. I was going to stuff it, but eggs. Maybe I'll mix up a cream cheese. Oh, that sounds good. Cream cheese with baby spinach and stuff it in the... That sounds good. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm waiting. This is now on. Let's see. I did it for 15. And then another five. And then another three just now. But I still... Uh, it's turning golden brown, but I want it a little browner. So I'm just going to set it for another five. So about 30 minutes. Um, anyway, let me grab my pan and stuff for this chicken. And I'll be right back. Friends, I knew I was going to forget this. 
If Joanne were here, she would have reminded me telepathically. My bacon. So I'm just going to, I know I have it inside, but I'm just going to sprinkle some on the top of each one of them. Definitely more than two pieces of bacon. Oh, that one's got a lot. What is that one? <laughs> that one got ripped off. Look, my cheese is already melting sitting on the thing there. All right. Okay. Now it's going in the oven. I shall return. So I'm back. Don't those look amazing? Holy macro crackle. They literally just came out of the oven. But let me grab this. Will probably be easier. Let's see how well that spray worked in here. Oh, not bad. I mean, when I say literally, I took them out of the oven and then brought you back. Yeah. So. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm going to try. Just put the guy's chicken in the oven. Ooh, look at that, friends. How perfect is that little thing? I don't think I needed to put chicken in the oven. I mean, there's bacon on there. That's meat, right? And might I add, I think because I had them over full, those took about 25 minutes after I put the stuff in there. I am going to taste one. Oh, look at all the steam. Look at the inside, my friends. Oh. I smell the onions. I'm glad I added those, seeing that I didn't have the other onions. And I hear the crunchy on the outside. I love crunchy. Mm. All I got was potato. All right, this ain't easy holding the plate. Mmm. That's really good. Um I taste I can't taste the spinach. It's almost like what's the sense? Um other than the looks of it cuz it looks really good. I taste the cheese and I taste the onions. Put a little bit of salt. You know that enhancing the flavor on it. It's really good. I don't need to. I just want to see what it will do. But I'm hungry. Hmm. Mm. 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 Those are really good. I almost wonder if I could dip it in something. You don't have to because they're really good. But I bet a little sauce of something will go over the top of it really good. Just to add another kick to it. Yep. <clears throat> That's my dinner right there. I'll give this a two thumbs up. I'll make this again. It was easy. So. There it is, my friends. Mm. I didn't do anything special with the chicken. I just threw that on top. I'll get that, that cheese off of the pan. I don't want it to stick there. Um, so this is your video for today. So like and subscribe. Thanks for being here. I love you guys, and I'll see you again when I see you. Or when you see me.
Ciao for now. Enjoy. Okay, I love how easy these peel. Watch this. One hand. Ready? <laughs> Seriously? Come on. <laughs> I love my Instapot. Yee!